Hello everyone, this is Iris and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do flat iron curls which look like this. Hopefully you guys will stick around and watch the rest of this tutorial because I am going to go over step by step how to obtain these um, bouncy curls. Also, I'm going to show you how to avoid making the common mistakes that people make while they try to use a flat iron to create such curls. I am going to be featuring a couple of products and there is a 20% off plus free shipping coupon code in the information box for the Keratin Complex Tools and that is from beautychoice.com. So I wash my hair with the Keratin Complex shampoo and conditioner and then um, I went ahead and detangled my hair and you do want to start off with clean hair whenever you curl your hair with a flat iron. It just makes it a little bit better. It's not necessarily an absolute step. So I'm using the positive ion um, setting on this blow dryer or hair dryer. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start drying my hair from the roots. And this will just kind of make it easier um, to add volume later on. So as I was blow drying my hair, I was noticing that this um, hair dryer has like ridiculous amount of power. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so I checked the wattage and it is pretty strong. I think it's like 1800 watts and it's still like, it feels really powerful. So my hair was dried very, very fast. It's a perfect blow dryer if you're gonna be doing a blowout on your hair. So now I'm gonna be showing you the first thing that people do when they um, curl their hair with the flat iron which is they clamp it down and then they wrap the hair around the flat iron like so and then they pull the hair down with the hair wrapped around it like so and then once they release it they get something that looks like this right that's probably happened to you before so I'm going to show you that just one more time what it's like to do it wrong you just clamp it wrap the hair around just like you see on your favorite YouTube video of somebody curling their hair with a flat iron and you run it through and there it is you don't have a curl it's pretty frustrating because you keep going over the same section of hair and you're damaging your hair because you're going over it with the same amount of heat and it's just so bad for your hair overall so now I'm going to show you the right way to do it, which is I went ahead and I wrapped my hair around it. And then I twisted the flat iron just slightly. And a part of the flat iron is adding pressure to the hair. So if you have ever curled a ribbon with a pair of scissors, you know how you apply pressure to the scissors in order to add curl? That's what you're doing. You're using that section that you see um, of the flat iron. Uh, where the hair is kind of like shiny you see where that that's where the pressure is where the light hits it you're just running it through and the flat iron is actually not closed tightly it's closed uh, with enough room for the hair to glide through but the pressure is coming from that just that area right there where you see the the light hitting the flat iron and hitting the hair do you see that right there that's where the pressure is so I'm pushing it against that and that is what is creating the curl like so so I'm just gonna show you guys a couple more times how to do this to achieve these bouncy curls just in case you're following along with your own flat iron so again you clamp the flat iron give it a little twist twist the hair around as well and then put pressure on the edge of the flat iron against your hair even if you need to twist a couple of times, as long as you're putting that pressure there, that's what's most important. And even if you have like those little dents, they'll go away with um, after the hair has been curled and it just kind of like bounces up, you won't see the dents anymore. So there you can see that I have the, that part where the, the light is hitting the hair. That's where all the pressure is going. And that's what causes the hair to curl. And then you can hold it if you want, um, but usually, um, unless you have that pressure going there, this isn't going to work. So I'm showing that to you right now. 
a lot of people will do this as well and then they'll be disappointed with um, with no curl so yes you can hold it but as long as you do add that pressure as I keep saying over and over in this video when you drag this down you press it tightly against the hair in that area right there so that the edge of the flat iron is creating the curl and so I'm just going to continue working on the rest of my hair until I've completed all the curls there is I believe this is my final curl if not it's the second to last and I just continue to add pressure okay this is my last curl so twist it wrap it around twist the flat iron a little bit so that I can make sure I have it at the right angle so that there is that angle that's pressing against against my hair or not necessarily the angle but the edge of the flat iron pressing against my hair the outer edge so now what you want to do is just take your your fingers and then just gently separate the curls I fast forwarded this portion of the video but in uh, real time I'm going pretty slow you can add pomade you can use a comb or a pick to separate your curls and then of course you want to flip your hair over you can add a hairspray or anything that you'd like you can brush these curls out if you'd like I just wanted like real um, voluminous curls so here what I did just for effect is I just parted my hair to one side and then I added a flower but you know you can style your hair any way that you'd like once you have these curls and it looks like these curls were made with a curling iron but they were actually made with my flat iron as I demonstrated in the video it's pretty simple but if you're still having trouble you can go ahead and send me a comment I will post frequently asked questions in the information box so before you ask a question make sure that you check the information box you can also add pomade or add anything that you guys think would make your hair look nice at this point thank you guys so much for watching